we are about to start a brand new year and new resolutions yet today i'm not doing any workout i'm just going to take you to a place that i love it's a lake and i'm gonna be doing a little bit of walking running there five things that i'll be sharing with you over there at the lake get ready let's go i'm going north towards the mountain where there's a lake it's a gorgeous day today busy doing all the things but um, I'm gonna go down there and pray for me that everything's gonna be fine and I'll come back safely I just feel like getting that walk and that run and it's so beautiful it's just that it's a little dark and I don't see many people here but I mean I, I have faith that I'll be okay <laughs> let's go okay I usually come earlier <laughs> I don't come this late, but I got busy doing other things, and I had a deadline, things to turn in, so I got distracted when I've noticed it was already three, then I forgot to eat, and then I had to make something to eat, then it got super late, but um, here we are. Some people coming back. <laughs> I love to see water. I love to touch it. I don't know if I'm going to go all the way down there. I just asked her if she saw some people down there and she said no, there's nobody down there. <laughs> so she doesn't recommend me going there by myself. I don't know if I'm going to get all the way to the bottom. I love to start that year like that, doing something out of the ordinary. I don't set resolutions. I don't say I'm going to do this, this and that. I set my intentions and I number them. There's five of them that are my top priority I don't really need to write them down anymore because I know exactly what I want I think setting intentions is more practical than resolutions because we set too many but when we have intentions towards our relationship with God with people with our own dreams that's when we start seeing those amazing results the first thing for me is my faith Faith in God is my number one priority. When I connect with God, I find serenity. And from the place of serenity, I center myself in my emotions, thought, will, intellect, and everything that sometimes is so noisy and out of order. God, whatever you want to call him, helps me find the balance, the centeredness. I think I'm going back. It's getting really dark. Look at the sunset. It's so beautiful. I'm gonna sit down for a little bit to enjoy the sunset. Whew. Okay, I gotta get going. I'm using my flashlight. It's so dark here. It's kind of scary. <laughs> Glad I have my phone. When I find my place of, set of centeredness, then I can uh, proceed and feel ready to give myself away to those I love. And we hear people say, you got to do what you love to do. But my advice to you is start doing what you love to do, even when you're not getting paid. Try to score city some way, somehow. I started helping people with their fitness and wellness goals without getting compensated. I just had to get certified. But first, it was because I really wanted to help and, and it felt so good. And as a singer, I started singing in church with my dad. I got invited to different events. I did not get paid. And sometimes it was a very small compensation. I did it because I loved it. And that is my advice to you. Start doing what you love. And little by little, you're going to be recognized for what you're doing. If you're good, you're going to get well compensated soon. Okay, let's keep going my significant other i don't have a significant other so it will be my children the ones that will benefit from my fullness oh my 
gosh, it's so dark here. Wanna see? Ooh. Yeah, it's pretty dark here. Better get home quickly. It's a ravine, our family, our friends, our community. But please don't do this. I don't recommend this. It's scary. Oh my gosh. I'm crazy. I know. I'm known for being a crazy person. I come from a crazy family. And that's the last thing uh, in the list is family. It's not that they're last, but in order for us to give to our family, friends, our community, we have to start with ourselves, our relationship and communication with God, then taking care of ourselves, then our closest one, our significant other, and our kids, and then developing those gifts and living, <laughs> excuse me, living from a full place where you feel fulfilled accomplishing your dream and serving others getting paid for what you do hopefully good money right because we're given a uh, good service we deserve to be making good money and from that place we can love and serve people friends family i love my family we are pretty crazy loud always the loudest in the neighborhood <laughs> But we uh, love each other very, very much. I did it! <laughs> I, can't, I can't believe I did it. It was kind of scary. There were some men down there. I kind of had to run. I wish you all a happy new year and a blessed, prosperous, wealthy, healthy, full of love, joy, peace, all those good things to all of you. And, uh, and again, five things, right? Our relationship with God. A relationship with ourselves how we take care of ourselves so then we can be a blessing to our closest ones children spouse and then um, pursuing our dream serving others doing what we love and then um, generously giving to our family our friends and our community and shining the light with our gifts and talents and, and the financial blessings that come from doing what we love that is my hope for you i thank you for coming with me and please don't do what i did okay i know i came too late and this wasn't safe okie dokie <laughs> once in a while we take this but not too many Alrighty, i love you all have an amazing 2023 bye <laughs>